Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to work with Manuel Bastioni's laboratory. So the first thing we have to do is just search here for the Manuel Bastioni lab and go to his website. And here you can see he released just last week the version 1.5. So click on it and go on to download and download the lab here. Let's just create a new folder on the desktop, call this uh, MB, and let's save here the zip. And let's wait. Once it is finished, go ahead and open up Blender. Um, here you can double press A to delete everything. Let me just open my hotkey. So now you can see what I'm pressing here. So yeah, basically what we have to do is here to go to file and to user preferences. And then we want to install from file. Then we go and search for our desktop here and for the MB uh, folder. And here is the zip folder. And we want to install from this zip folder. So once this is finished, um, open up again the user uh, preferences and check for Manuel. Mm, the laboratory. There it is. Make sure that it is checked here. After you check this, press on save user settings and you will get a new um, option here. Uh, at the first time I got a bug, so um, just restart Blender. This worked for me. So again delete everything and now we can start with the laboratory. So here we have the basic initialization. So you can choose here between a lot of templates. So I will just go with the Caucasian mail. And yeah we can use cycle materials but it's not uh, uh, it will not go into Unreal so um, just let everything like it is and initialize the character. So this will take a bit of a time. So once it finished, press 1 on the numpad and 5. And we can scroll here to the character. So let's first um, look how it uh, looks when we start or when we initialize the characters. To see this, we need to implement a camera. Press th uh, th 3 sorry, and push the camera here out and let's get the view rotated. So now we can see that this is okay. To see actually what the camera sees you need to uh, press Control, Alt and 0 on the numpad. Oh this makes uh, this uh, shortcut key makes uh, the camera to the current position so yeah that's nice to know but we want to have here so make it like this, grab it a bit out and let's rotate it about the X. And now if you press only zero on numpad you can see what the camera sees. Now if you press F12 you can see it starts to render and shows what we got. And let's actually before, or this is okay I think. So yeah you can see that the characters already are looking very good. So to work more on this, let's um, make here everything not shown, only the character. Click on the character, whoops, like this. Go here again to Manual Bastoni Lab, and here we can work with the values. So one is the older thing, and minus one is the younger thing. So I go with minus 0.5. So he's 21. Character mass is the thickness the character. I will go with 0.2, no, with 0. And tone is something like the muscles. So we go here also with 0.3. Before we continue with this work, if you have a powerful PC and want to have a better view, you can use here some very cool options. Here you can enable the subdivision surface and he looks way better now. 
but you also have a lot more tries and vertices. So yeah, uh, basically this is the part to make him look better. We could also um, edit the uh, pose here, so make this a T-pose. This takes a bit of a time, just wait it up. So now we have the T-pose. So yeah, basically, oops, click it again, and yeah, now you can go here through the all the options. So here we have a library uh, where you can select some uh, pre-made uh, things. So I will just show you some. So here you have the normal body, uh, for example, a brute body, which is very big. And yeah, you can just pick one of them or create your own. Uh, with Control Z, you can get back to your old um, player. So on the face expressions, you have also very cool, uh, whoops, very cool future. Uh, you can, uh, yeah, actually completely uh, set the face expression. So if I hit here, for example, excited or forward shock, for example, you can see his face changes. And yeah, you can give it a, something like a living character. So I will go with this attentive expression here, which I think looks quite neutral. So um, then you have a random generator. I will leave it now because we don't need to randomize this. I think it looks good. Uh, then you have a body and face measure parameters which uh, all works with um, morph targets so you can leave it uh, as they are and we will work with them in the Unreal Engine. So you could here adjust the measures of um, of the bone and all the stuff but we will leave it as it is. And you uh, see my PC is lagging because I made here the uh, subdivision preview. And that's why it's hanging a bit because there are so much tries. So if you want to work with this actual character, disable this. And if you finished, enable the subdivision. Okay. Yeah. Auto modeling. Never use that. I anyway. Um, morph targets are not working uh, perfectly. So. If you want to correct here some uh, values, just pick them and just work here with the values provided. So for example, um, I don't like uh, here the legs and the length of the legs. So let's get the legs and upper so get here a bit more, something like 0.7. So now we can, uh, 0.7 is a bit too much, 0 0.65, 65. And yeah, this is f an example how this works, but you can also make here the muscles a bit less on the legs. And now if we are finished, just enable the subdivision surface. Let's finalize this one, uncheck this one, check this one, here press the T-pose. Let's finalize with textures. Now just wait. And here we go, we have our character now. And now just save it as a blend, male 001 point blend. 
So we can work with this one later and see how huge this one is. I love this laboratory. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching and if you have any other uh, questions or uh, tips for me, just make a comment under the video and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!